not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss this. What's up guys, Cody here with another video for you guys today. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about physical media and uh, the positives and negatives of uh, digital streaming or just streaming services in general. As you can see, I'm a huge advocate for physical media. Behind me is my movie shelf and I'm still building the collection up. I still have six different uh, little cubby areas for uh, future movies and stuff. And I've been getting like super into collecting, you know, the 4K stuff and upgrading my movies for my 4K television right here. But the thing is, is that uh, as of January, physical media, the question of its, uh, you know, continuance and, you know, the fact that, you know, stores are removing, you know, physical media, Blu-rays, DVDs, 4Ks, what have you, has been the, you know, the topic discussion for the past few months. And, we're starting to see this um, unfortunately happen in certain stores like Best Buy. And just a disclaimer, if you guys are fans of digital media and you guys like your streaming services, this isn't meant to insult anyone, but I will tell you guys from a perspective shift why I think there are some positives and negatives to subscribing to some of these places. Now, while physical media is something that I adore, I agree that digital streaming may be convenient. I like the idea of being able to sit in an airport, uh, for instance. If I'm sitting in an airport and there is a, you know, three or four hour flight delay. I remember when I was in California one trip, I had to stay in the airport for 12 hours. Me having my Voodoo account was a saving grace. And uh, that is a digital streaming platform. Um, you know, not a lot of people know about it unless you are a physical movie collector. You guys know those digital copy codes that you guys get in your Blu-rays? Well, usually when you get a physical copy of a movie, you also get a digital copy. And that code right there allows you to put this movie on any device, your phone, your tablet, your TV, your Roku, your PS5, whatever it is. And uh, it allows you to maneuver around with an, interconnect net or an internet connection of some sorts, or even if you're running off of 5G to watch these movies. So having a physical copy of this movie and being able to watch it to, you know, pass time in, you know, public areas that, uh, that is very nice and a nice option. However, there is a dark side to streaming services. While physical media is being phased out because of convenience, Physical media also allows people the opportunity to, well, physically own their stuff. No digital item, movie, video game, music, what have you, do you officially own. It is technically rented. There have been instances in the past where a lot of these places that you own a movie or they claim to own a movie, for instance, um, iTunes. There have been legal issues regarding the fact that once they lost the license for you to actually have these items in your library and it claims that you own these items, they can apparently legally take them away. Even as recently as 2023, there have been legal issues surrounding Apple and the removal of purchased items through the Apple store and whether or not there is a legal precedence to being able to actually give um, someone a license versus owning that item as it states. Technically, you are given a license to stream and you can have this ripped away from you no matter what. When it comes to Netflix or Disney+, Plus, Hulu, what have you, they have a license to add the product to their streaming service, but once they lose that license, they can remove it from their library. Infamously, I remember when they were talking about with Friends, when they put Friends up on Netflix and it had been on there, they had been paying for the license to stream that exclusively on Netflix. They were paying millions of dollars to do so because they were getting a lot of people streaming that show. It is a very popular sitcom that a lot of people love, despite what people believe. But I am just saying right now, my biggest fear for you know, streaming services and all these things that are going on with physical media being completely phased out 
is now there is just a lot of control within the streaming service world. They can, you know, limit how much of a movie you see by taking away certain scenes or altering those scenes. They can completely remove uh, a, a TV show or movie from their service. They just recently did that on Disney Plus where some of their original content was removed and it's no longer available on there. And um, it sucks. It really sucks because I don't feel like digital media or streaming is perfect. I think it can be convenient for people, but I also feel like it could be the death of, you know, people being able to enjoy movies. Because if you don't have that physical copy, you're never guaranteed to be able to fully watch that movie in its entirety for the rest of your life. If you own something and you know how to take care of things, I know a lot of people have talked about some of the cumbersome things that come with, of course, being able to, <laughs> I don't know, own a physical media. Oh, it takes up too much space. Guys, this is how thin a, a 4K is, you know? This shelf right here, I have a lot of box sets and a lot of movies and I organize things. Some people go overboard. I, I understand that, but I only limit myself to what I'm interested in as far as TV shows and movies. And I'm gonna only own what I love, right? Um, but when it comes to, you know, I guess uh, owning a DVD or a Blu-ray, some people talk about how easy it is to scratch a disc. I have never had that issue before. I don't know. It could be because I'm very particular about keeping my things protected and like keeping things safe. You know, I take care of my stuff and I make sure all my stuff is cataloged and put somewhere where it can be uh, easily accessible. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every once in a while, 10 out of the, you know, 9 out of the 10 times that I'm watching something, it's through the Roku. And I, I can't tell you guys how much I love being able to walk up on this shelf one day and just be like, oh, cool. Well, where can I watch, say, something like Godzilla the series? All right? You can't watch this on any streaming platform. You can't. But you can get this DVD with all 40 episodes for like 10 bucks. That's, I say that's a hell of a deal. <laughs> like, I, I get it. I get why people look at physical media and they're just like, oh, it takes up too much space. You know, it's so much easier for me to stream. Yeah, it's so much easier for you to stream. But later down the road, guys, when digital is king and physical media is completely phased out and there's nothing to combat in it, they're going to control everything you can and cannot watch. And people will eventually start turning to, I don't know, piracy. And when that happens, piracy is going to eventually take down Hollywood. I personally feel like eventually, if they're not making the money, they're not going to produce the product. So I feel like eventually, movies might be a dying, a dying art form. And we just need to accept that what's convenient isn't always best. So... Always take that into consideration. I'm an advocate for physical media, but I can agree, a sign of the times, though this is great, sometimes it's always best to sit there and, you know, cheat a little bit as a moviegoer or a TV show viewer. I like to go to, when I go out, when I'm at work, if I have a break, I'll put on an episode of like, um, uh, like all the office or something while I'm eating on my break. It's convenient. I don't have to sit there and bring a portable device to put a disc in. And uh, that uh, that's just how it is. I, I enjoy my physical media and I enjoy the convenience of digital media. Most of the time, it's because of physical media that I do have a digital media, a digital media because of the code. I'm not really subscribed to anything. I'm mostly running a lot of my content through Vudu. And of course, while it uh, may not be the best thing for a lot of people, Vudu does actually have a means of being able to allow you to watch a lot of the newest movies. Like recently, they added the Hunger Games um, Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes right now. I could watch this at any time I want to right now. But my library uh, actually is on Vudu, um, very vast with 1700 movies. I could watch it at any time I want to on any device. So if I wanted to watch Oppenheimer, all I got to do is push play. And this is directly from my digital copy. 
and I could watch it in 4K. I mean, what else can I say, guys? It's, it's a very hard subject to tackle. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to watch my movies. I'm not going to illegally download them, but I am going to enjoy them. Whether it's convenient or not, I will always own a physical copy of the movie and a digital copy of the movie. There's positives and negatives to both. I don't subscribe to Netflix. I'm really I'm being honest. I'm borrowing Disney from my sister. <laughs> but a lot of those shows and movies on Disney Plus, they're not available on DVD. The DCOMs, a lot of the 90s, like uh, Disney Afternoon stuff, they're not in their complete uh, entirety on DVD or Blu-ray. Um, even though I do own most of it, uh, I say, yeah, it's convenient as hell to have something like that at your fingertips. But at what cost? Guys, I think both should stay. I think both really should stay. And... Um, I, I really hate that physical media is being phased out because it takes away the opportunity, I guess, for you to feel like you're in control of how you watch things. And it, it just doesn't feel right for that to happen. Um, but we'll see in the coming months how things end up working out. But guys, as always, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will always be back with more videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Tell me what you guys think down below and how you think this is going to go. Predict your the, the future of physical media. How do you think these things are going to play out? I'll talk to you guys later. See you next time.